everyone, Captain V here from All Pro. I'm just doing a little bit of a kitchen experiment here. Uh, nothing too fancy, uh, but I just want to kind of show you the difference uh, between the Gulp, which is an absolutely awesome, awesome bait, and the All American Stink, which we're hoping is going to be an alternative that's going to catch as many fish and work effectively, uh, differently, but effectively than the Gulp. This here is the Gulp. Uh, they call this the 6 inch or 15 centimeter um, grub. Uh, for full disclosure, this is last year's grub. Um, I know just from smelling the bag, the scent is different from last year to this year. Uh, I didn't have any this year's grubs uh, readily available uh, from uh, Gulp. So uh, I did have a, a bag from last year. I noticed when I took it out of the bag though, the tail here is a little deformed. Uh, they're all like that. Um, I don't think it's a defect or anything. I just think it's a, an older bag and the type of plastic they use. It just kind of, when they're in there, it does that. I don't think it's going to cause that much of a, a problem or anything like that. But um, it's fresh out of the bag. There is some uh, some smell on it. You know, some of that juice on it. You can see there's some some juice over here as well from it. Just want to do a quick measurement of it. So there's six inch. You can see, much like ours, which is bigger, but the way they measure it, the grub part itself. You go to the last rib. That last rib is just about like two and a half inches long, and then you have that smooth section right here, um, and then it really comes out to maybe about five inches if it wasn't kind of defective. See, about five inches. Uh, this one here is the All American Stink. I just took it out of out of the bag uh, for full disclosure purposes. This is a brand new model of a, um, of the All American Stink, so it's this year's formula. Where where again, honestly, I used a uh, bag from last year of this uh, Berkeley Gulp. I just kind of get them a little bit together so you could kind of see the size of the two. Um, Ours, you can see, has, uh, you know, we're going to be, let me just move this one up here a little bit so we're even. That's pretty close. So what we have here is, um, ours, you can see the ribs go a little bit further. So obviously the body's a tad bigger. There's no comparison in the tail, even if uh, the gulp tail was fully flexed out and so forth uh, you could see the old american stink just has a, a much wider tail the other thing that i want to um point out before i show you the measurement is and it might be a little difficult to see the american stink has a coating on it now this coating does come off after you know several minutes uh, 15 minutes 20 minutes we've tested it and it's still on the bait, but you know, the reality of it is, is that we are fishing in salt water, there's a lot of movement, so this coating does come off. This coating does penetrate the bait, but it's not going to act like a chum slick and like seep out of the body. But as you can see, really, neither does the gulp. So, for a kind of a measurement on this, if we kind of stick this like that, which is pretty, pretty even here, our body gets just past um, two and a half or maybe closer to two and a half inches. Then our tail goes way beyond to almost five and uh, about five and uh, five eighths. Someone wants to argue, they could say three quarters, but it's right there, five and five eighths. So it's a little taller. The big difference is you can see this, this tail is uh, much larger and that's going to give us a more wave um, we think uh, in the water. The other thing I want to show you is um, our coating on this. It makes it much more slimier. Um, as you try to push it, it will move around. You can feel it. The compound that we use is water soluble, so fish could actually smell it. Uh, so any scent actually does go in the water. Um, now I pushed this around a bit. You can see how much of our uh, scent came off just, um, you know, sitting on this uh, 
on this uh, surface. So now what I'm going to do is I've got the um, Berkeley Gulp stool with its juices on it out of the bag. You can see it's shining a little bit there. I'm going to drop it in the water just to see how it floats or sinks and how how those juices kind of come off the uh, grub. A lot of people think it acts like a chum slick. So there it is. It sank like pretty much like a stone right to the bottom. So it must be a pretty dense material that they're using. I don't really see anything coming off of the uh, the grub. That doesn't mean that nothing is coming off. It's very possible we just can't see it. You know. All right, everyone, I'm going to put the uh, All-American Stink. Uh, that's this one right here. I'm going to drop that in the water and see how that reacts to the water. So it's a little more buoyant than the um, Berkeley Gulp. You don't quite see anything coming out of it, so it's not acting like a a chum slick but you actually could still see the coating that's on this grub see it right there so when fish come up and hit it there's going to be you know a little bit of a, uh, a slime on it uh, which is kind of simulates a you know a regular fish right um, fish aren't dry so this will have a little slippery substance to it it also indicates that it just doesn't come off when you drop it in the water. Also, if this was an oil-based compound that we were using, you would see it would separate and it would float up. But because it's water-soluble, made specifically so fish could smell it and that it does go in the water, um, it doesn't separate. I'm going to take it out of the water here. I'm going to just move it around a little bit. You can kind of see how this would look if you shake it a little bit. What I like to point out is that even though it was in the water, it still has its, its slime to it. You could still feel it. And it's not greasy. It's kind of weird on, on how this was made. It's not greasy because it's water soluble, but it's slippery. Um, it's slippery, but not greasy. I guess that's the best way to kind of describe it. And you'll have to get a package and do it yourself. And, um, you know, if I stick it back in the water and you know, give it a good shake, you know, I don't know. Give it a few few seconds here of shaking. Yeah, you know, it's pretty rapid. I mean, that's kind of unusual, right? I mean, you would think that this type of shaking is a, a normal bait action that you would normally do. But, and then I take it out here. Place it over here. You're going to still see. It's pretty cool stuff. It's still on the bait. I mean... It still has some slime to it, and that's what's kind of cool about this, is that even when you put it in the water, <coughs> after 5, 10, 15 minutes, it's still going to have some of this. It's not like your common, you know, people make a plastic, dip it in some sort of scent, comes off, great, you know, gimmick. This is pretty cool. A lot of time and thought went into this, and um, pretty cool stuff. Anyone, Captain V, uh, I've been getting some emails and messaging on Facebook and Instagram asking to see the uh, jigging action on the All-American Stink as well as the uh, Berkeley Gulp to see a comparison. Um, I have a, uh, a Berkeley Gulp right here. This is the Gulp. We put it on a uh, All-Pro Slayer Bucktail. Very cool because the color matches. So even if you don't use the All-American Stink and you're going to go with Gulp, you can get one of our Bucktails. It looks great. These are swinging Bucktails. 
as you can see a lot of action so you can get a lot more action on these I'm going to drop it in the water and we're going to see kind of what this looks like now the water's not all that deep so you have to you know give it like an idea and on how it's going to look also when when I uh, bucktail I don't use a quick clip I go straight to the line I think this would look much different if it was in deeper water you know with a much higher lift but we were asked to see it so I'm showing what I got I don't have a multi-million dollar laboratory but this is the gulp this is the Berkeley gulp great bait catches a zillion fish before the American stink I used it myself and this is a one ounce slayer and this is generally kind of without a current of course what it's going to look like hey one captain v so now this one here is the all american stink uh again it is a bigger bait i'm on the same one ounce uh all pro slayer bucktail again i love it i recommend it matches colors perfectly we have them all different colors it's a uh a swivel tail i'm going to put it in the water so the way ours will look again this is a very uh limited situation because the water is not all that deep but i think you can kind of get the look on how that extra long tail will kind of you know give you a little bit more action when you're bucktailing it difficult to see in shallow water but again you ask for it this is what i had available at this time just a couple of days before the show We'll get some better stuff on the water action this summer with them, so you could actually see them. But I'm pretty impressed with it. I think you'll be impressed too, especially if you catch a, bit, a couple of 10-pound fluke on it. I'm hoping you send us a bunch of pictures. Um, the one last thing I want to point out is because our tail is a little more buoyancy, even if I leave it down, it's up. It's a little bit of an attractor. Now, if there was a current in there, you know, you could just see that will move more. So... It's a cool product, something you should try. I hope to see you out on the water with it. Thank you.